you? Ugh, the YouTube bed. Are you looking to improve your grades? Eh, I got a 96 on my. Is your roommate making too much noise? Do they smell funny and keep playing that same song on max volume? What a waste of an ad. Well, are you in luck? You won't have to cram and rely on old Chegg any longer. The Monkey Ward staff has finally decided to put your tuition to good use and construct the Grand Library. Eh, tuition's still overpriced. Complete with a quiet study area, kids section, restricted section, snack bar, team study areas, and the occasional book. Eh, what a crummy school. What did you say about monkey warts? I'm gonna come over there. Hello. Today we're gonna be showcasing the newest build inside of monkey warts. It was a collaboration project with Butter Piggy, and it's the newest build I have done in 1.16. So here we have the Grand Library inside of Monkey Warts. It was really weird building this because I was checking for my screenshots the last time I built in this area. Monkey Warts was two years ago, so it's like definitely weird getting used to this being here. Like normally this is wide open. So I'll give you a far away shot of like what it looks like coming in. So you have these giant windows in the archway over it. And then you are greeted at the front desk with this tree. I was really happy with the way this tree uh, turned out. I really like the shape of it. And then on this side, we have some study areas, some bookshelves that are going up to the next floor. With something similar on the other side. You have more bookshelves and study areas. But on this side, you have like an enchantment table. And this area looks really cool. You got like magic coming from the ceiling. And if I went to a library like this, I would love like like these types of areas. It's like nice, like secluded and like areas to study that are like really far away from everything else. And also it has this amazing view. So, and then if we go along this way, we have what looks like an ordinary wall with a monkey statue. But thanks to some clever redstone by Butter Piggy, if you put the item frames in this direction like the sword is stabbing the totem it opens up the restricted section of the library which has like a different color theme which I think looks cool and we have this book which I would show you but it's not meant for mortal eyes so maybe another day and then we gotta close this up so other people don't stumble upon this and I was actually like, thinking through all the secret rooms in my head and inside of monkey warts there's if I'm not missing any, which I is very well I might have forgotten about, there's ten secret rooms hidden around. So, moving right along, we have the food court inside of the library, because that's what all libraries have. There's Starbucks and everything, you got your Pig Donalds, and a bread emporium, which seems to be lacking in the bread department. And then we have this... <laughs> total fantasy of a store, a Lego store that sells exclusively 501st Battle Packs. That's 75% off when you buy at least zero. Uh, we can dream, we can dream. And then on the other side, there's going to be a kid section with a, a teen area as well. So you have the um, computers along the wall with some trains the, the kids would play at at the library. And you can do like story time on the carpet right through here. And then you have the table where you like play games with your friends at the library after school. We have some places to sit and you can watch some TV. And then there's just some more bookshelves on top of here. If a pretty good view, I would say. And then the last thing in this area. You have this platform up here with some armor stands and a map of monkey warts. This is an ordinary map. We have another hidden room with all the ores stored away. And then if the crown jewel of the collection, the block netherite. And then close this up. And then one last thing on this floor is got this printer over here, which you put a put, should have put paper and then you could like spam, spam your papers out of the printer. And then to get to the next floor, you have these two spiraling staircases, which they were a pain to design and build, but they look gorgeous. 
And since I um, recently have moved over to 1.16, I've been using this, these soul lanterns a lot. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite blocks. So up here, we have the t um, teen study area, like these group tables that you would study at. We have an aquarium with some mesmerizing and confusing modern art. And then a model of the glorious 2007 LEGO MTT. And then over here, there's this staircase, which will lead to something eventually, but as of now, it's just a staircase into nothing. And some of the thing goes to that staircase, it just goes to nothing. It will be connected to something soon, but as of now, it goes nowhere. And then over here, we have my favorite part of the library. I, I love the architect uh, architecture of this hall. You have the statue of an iron golem, all of the house banners inside of monkey warts, the miscellaneous blocks on the shelves, and then this glass area where you can look over the library entrance. And I, I just love this area. I think it looks so cool. And then over here we have the CD section. I still need to uh, put CDs inside these item frames. I don't have many discs to spare right now. And just more general areas inside the library. You got like a globe. Like this would be like the area where you'd get like your CDs and your cassette tapes out of the library. And then down here, the staircase to another hallway inside of Monkey Warts. And <laughs> this is a pretty cool transition. Of the of the, moving from like acacia and like birch to spruce and dark oak, and I think that's it. Oh, you also have a statue of a monkey. But that's what I've been up to recently, and I think the next area is inside of monkey warts. It's either going to be a science wing, or I'm going to be going around like areas inside of Monkey Works that I haven't touched in a while and I've neglected. So instead of being like one huge project like this, it's going to be a few like minor touch-up areas. So that's the Grand Library. And hope, hopefully this video has inspired you to make something in your own world and hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.